PHP versus Python for beginning programmers. A lot of people are asking, what is the right programming language to get started with? And two of the most popular choices on the internet are Python and PHP. There's advantages and disadvantages to each, especially if this is the first programming language that you're going to learn. PHP is great because it works within HTML. You can have an all HTML document, then say, start PHP using a string of characters that basically is less than and then the question mark, put your PHP code in and then close it with a question mark greater than. This lets you do interesting programming very quickly without having to know a whole lot of programming. You can create a page that says, hello world, the time is, and then echo current time and be done. That's not quite the exact programming code, but just as an example. With Python, you have to learn a lot more in order to do a hello world statement. But the things that you learn with Python translate to more languages than they do with PHP. This can be good and bad. People whose first language is PHP, in my experience, tend to think about programs a little more compartmentalized. Lots of times the things that you're building in PHP are small standalone bits of code that exist in HTML or on a single page. People who learn to think in Python tend to think in terms of all of the parts of the whole. Both of these have their place and you need programmers that know how to do both things. But if you're in like high school, I would say based on where I was at in high school, PHP is a better language. The structure is more flexible. The way that you write code is more flexible and it isn't as particular about the formatting and some of the rules. You can switch between a string and a number and an array very quickly. With Python, you have what's called strong typing and so if you've taken something in as a string and later you want to multiply it as though it were an integer or a floating or you know, one of the other choices of ways that you can store data, you have to make sure that you change what's called the typing. So the stronger the typing, the more thought process you have to put into the work that you're going to do with your code as you're writing it. That isn't to say that in high school you can't do those things. It's just that with PHP, you can do more rapid development and focus on what you're building rather than learning all of the rules of the speech in order to speak the programming language. So that's the reason I would say if you're, if you're young at heart and want to learn a programming language where you're going to get results very quickly so that you will stay excited about it, PHP is the way to go. If you're later in life or career and you're learning a language in order to do more with your job or to expand the number of jobs you can apply for, like you've been an IT person for a number of years, I would say go with Python. Python teaches you a lot of very good habits that translate well into other languages. If you learn to write good Python, you will write other languages well. And you'll also find that there are more jobs that pay better based on Python because fewer people speak it than speak PHP. The last caveat I would say is if you're just a web developer, web designer kind of person, PHP is what powers WordPress. And so because so much of the internet runs on WordPress, Learning PHP is a great way for a web designer to expand their value and create the ability to make better WordPress themes and make more tweaks to the back end of you know, content management systems on the web. Python, like I said, 
more money, harder to do, um, more strict language structure. PHP, rapid development, great for people that are working in graphics or web. Python is, of course, a web technology. It's just, it's not what powers WordPress. So think about who your potential clients are. Think about where you are in life and think about how interested you are in learning and how fast you need to see results in order for you to stick with it. Python is going to take more time, work, and energy and it's going to give you more headaches because if you don't count the number of spaces, the number of spaces at the start of the line for an indent will change how your code works. Whereas PHP, you can put the whole thing on one line. But that discipline that you're going to learn from Python is going to help you with more complex languages. So hopefully that will have helped you make some decision about PHP versus Python. And we'll do more videos in this series.